For decades, social psychologists have tried to understand the causes of conformity. That is, why we tend to act like people around us act. In this video, I would like to show a recent perspective that brings very interesting insights to understand this phenomenon, especially in the light of evolution. I'm talking about parasite stress theory. The proposal that parasite stress is central to the evolution of social life. Well, parasites were sources of stress throughout our evolution. That's because only very recently, due to the development of effective antibiotics, sickness no longer equal death. Indeed, the selective pressure exerted by germs led to the improvement not only of our classical immune system, about which we learned in high school, but also of our behavioral immune system, a psychological mechanism consisting of a sequence that begins with the assessment of potential risk of contamination, which triggers disgust, and in turn the expression of avoidance behavior. What we have learned in recent years is that this behavior immune system is the basis of a variety of social behaviors. Because for better control of the disease, some well-established social norms are needed and must be followed by all. For example, when people feel more vulnerable to disease, they tend to express greater liking for people with more conformist traits and exhibit higher level of behavior conformity. For example, be more acquiescent to majority views when evaluating abstract art drawings. We already know that more conformity is found in collectivist countries. Previous research showed that higher level of both historical and contemporary pathogen prevalence can predict collectivism across geopolitical regions. This is because the behavior immune system encouraged the endorsement of social conservative beliefs, which lead to tradition, social exclusivity, and negativity toward outgroups. Of course, this theory is not perfect, or even the only explanation for conformity. But the evidence has been growing significantly, especially over the past three years. I think that after watching this video, you will be left with an interesting idea that maybe if you wish to live in a world with more insurgent people who are capable of questioning traditional rules and prompt society toward breaking barriers, then we should invest not only in education, but also in the healthcare system, in order to reduce the sense of vulnerability and thus the dominance of the germs of conformity.